Alina Rabakina versus Lude Miller Samsonova is the second semi final for the Beijing Open for 2023. And both players have been impressive to get to the semis. Samsonova entered the tournament unseeded and will take on Parks in the first round. This is no problem getting through in the straights. 6 4 7 6. In the second round, she'd take on the number 12 seed Kvitova. And after a close second set, Samsonova would get through in straights. 6 4 7 5. In the third round, she'd take on Kostchuk, who had just beaten Ons Jabur in the previous round. And after a close second set, Samsonova would fight through to win. 6 4 6 7 7 5. In the quarterfinal, she'd take on the 13th seed Ostapenko, who had just destroyed Pagula, the fourth seed, in the previous round. This was the easiest match so far for Samsonova, getting through in straights. 6 3 6 2 to advance to the semi-finals. Rabakina entered the tournament as the number five seed and would take on Zhang in the first round. This was no problem getting through in straights, 6-1, 6-2. In the second round, she'd take on Maria. And again, no problem getting through in straights, 7-5, 6 love. In the third round, she'd take on the qualifier, Andreva, who had been very impressive to get to this stage. And after being down a set and a break, Rabakin would fight back to win 2-6-6-4-6-1 to get through a very tough matchup. In the quarterfinals, she'd take on the world number one, Sabalenka, a player she'd beaten at Indian Wells back in March. And after a tough first set, she'd get through in straights 7-5-6-2 to advance to the semifinals. These two have played three times before with Samsonova leading the head-to-head 3-0, -head including a match a couple of months ago where Samsonova got the three-set win. But Rabakin is looking a lot fresher now and also looks injury-free, which is really good to see for the first time in a long time. Samsonova's going to win this one. She needs to play better than she did against Ostapenko. The reason why she beat Ostapenko so easily is because Ostapenko played terrible and hit a lot of double faults, a lot of errors. She's not going to get those sort of errors from Rabakina. Rabakina hits too well, so she's going to have to play better herself, also serve well against Rabakina's big serve. Rabakina's going to win this one. She just needs to do what she did against Sabalenka. Serve really well. She serves so many aces and limited the double faults. Also take advantage of the Samson over serve a little bit, especially that second serve. If she doesn't serve well on that second serve, try and attack it like she was against Sabalenka. This is such an interesting matchup because the underdog, who you would think is Samson over, but she has the record over Rabakina, especially in that recent win. But I've got to go with Rabakina to win this one. She looks so good against Sabalenka in the last round. I'm going to go with Rabakina in three sets, but let me know down in the comments below who's making the final.